Corporate giving, which for retailers and shipping companies means it's the season for delivering. And all those millions of tons of cardboard boxes will eventually need to be re recycled along with plastic and glass bottles and metals that make up half of the 292 million tons of waste we produce every year. That mountain of waste material we all generate has prompted new ways to think about how we recycle and who pays for it. Brooke Silva-Braga sorts through this messy issue. It's Recycling Day in Long Beach, New York. And when the town's public works commissioner, Joseph Fabrizio, sees bottles and cans, he's thinking about dollars and cents. I overheard you a second ago saying there was a time when you made money on recycling. Yes, there was. Prior to like 2015, we used to actually make money. Even when that changed and recycling cost a couple dollars a ton. It was really minimal. We were spending about $6,000 a year. That was still a very good deal because this is all stuff the town didn't have to pay much bigger money to put in a landfill. But then this year, their long running recycling contract expired. Now we're paying $80 a ton. Wait, $80 a ton? $80 a ton. It was $2. It was $225, correct? Now it's $80. We now it's $80. That old $6,000 annual bill will be more like $100,000 this year. And that shock happened all across the country for a fairly simple reason. In 2018, China stopped buying our recycling. They'd been embarrassed by the film Plastic China, portraying them as the world's dumping ground. And anyway, it would be easier for China to recycle their own stuff if they didn't have higher quality American materials to compete with. All of a sudden, the biggest market said they were going to stop taking it. So prices crashed and all of these recycling programs started losing uh, lots and lots of money. Adam Minter has been writing about recycling for 20 years. And he says environmental concerns may be how we motivate households to separate their trash, but they've never been enough to make recycling work as an industry. The best way to think about recycling is it's raw materials for manufacturing. If nobody wants to use it, that stuff you put in your recycling bin is as good as garbage. And as prices fell, that did happen. Like These the glass bottles here, they're just going to end up in the trash. They probably will. And some in government started looking at recycling differently. If all this packaging is going to cost us money rather than save it, maybe we should take a harder look at the whole system. Those who put the packaging out into the world bear no responsibility for the cost of recycling their own product. Todd Kaminsky is a Democratic state senator in New York, pushing legislation to push the cost of recycling onto the companies creating the packaging. It's called EPR, or Extended Producer Responsibility. The idea isn't just to make companies like Amazon pay for all the packaging they pour onto our doorsteps, but also incentivize companies to make packages that will be easier to recycle. We want them to pay more for the more damaging their product is and less for the better their product is. At the end of the day, they're going to be kicking money into the system to help municipalities do recycling and do it well. Won't they just pass the cost on to consumers? What we found in other places is that the cost is so infinitesimal, it barely registers to consumers. Those other places already using EPR include parts of Canada and Europe. The new law shifts some of the recycling burden onto large corporations. Maine and Oregon passed America's first EPR laws this summer, but they aren't in effect yet. Some big companies, including Pepsi and Unilever, have voiced support for EPR, perhaps because big producers will decide how fees are set. Smaller businesses like grocery store chains have been vocal opponents. Amazon didn't respond to our request for comment about EPR. A commitment to using less materials. But they've previously boasted about cutting the weight of their packaging by more than a third and now offer the option to receive orders in fewer boxes. Amazon says they're doing a lot to make their packaging more efficient. You disagree? I, I just don't think in an EPR system we leave it up to them to decide what they want to do, and maybe they will or maybe they won't. But either way, why should Amazon not bear the cost of having so many more garbage pickups, so many more recycling pickups that municipalities can't handle? Stand above New York City's recycling heap and the scale of our waste can be hard to fathom. Our trucks collect from residences uh, across New York City, and it's all delivered right here. And this is a month's worth, a week's worth. It's Less than half a day's worth. It's kind of staggering. It is, yes. Much of it does have value. Again, the recent supply chain crisis has driven back up the price of these raw materials, at least for the companies processing them, at least for now. 
But Adam Minter says we shouldn't let commodity prices or a debate over who pays the tab confuse us about the full cost of what we buy and discard. I think a lot of environmentalists think, you know, you put something in your recycling bin and it goes off to green heaven. But, you know, recycling is a raw material business. It requires factories. It requires energy inputs. It can be dirty. If people are really concerned about the environmental impact of using materials, they should reduce their consumption altogether. Something for us all to process as we fill our carts this month. For CBS Saturday Morning, Brooke Silverbrack, New York. Makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> and that's just recycling. Can right. you imagine the other trash out there, how much in volume we consume? And I think, you know, bringing it out of the dark, where we see this trash and recycling headed is going to lighten the load eventually. One of the big things there is what Brooks mentioned there at the end, which is the issue of you put things in the recycling bin and you think, what, you just wash your hands, yeah. it's, right. it's off to green heaven. It's, it's not no. necessarily... That's simple. Yeah. yeah. And knowing where that trash goes, knowing where that recycling goes. And knowing how it has to be put in there so that it can be recycled right. as well. Good piece, Brooke. Thank you very much. There